Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of art at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or volunteer will share an object from the museum's permanent collection and pose questions for discussion. Check back each day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Liz Fuller and I'm a docent at the Art Museum. Today marks the beginning of the Olympic Games. Have you ever dreamed of being an Olympic athlete? What if you could paint or sculpt your way to a gold medal? You might be surprised to learn that the museum collection includes artwork by Olympic medalists. You might be even more surprised to learn that the arts were once central to the modern day Olympics. In fact, medaled competitions existed for architecture, literature, music, painting, and sculpture. Collectively known as the Pentathlon of the Muses, these events occurred during the Olympic Games that ran between 1912 and 1948. Submitted works had to be inspired by the concept of sport. Art contests had been held in ancient Greece as well, and inclusion in the modern day games was a nod to those earlier events. The artists were judged by a panel, and with that subjectivity came many disagreements about who would medal, and even who could compete. Many artists did not want to compete, concerned about the fairness of the judging panel and the potential damage it could cause to their reputations. Many criticized the competition for lacking diversity in both the judging panel and the participating artists. Others saw the competition as a platform to receive international recognition. The 1948 games were the last to include these art competitions and they were instead replaced by an exhibition known as the Cultural Olympiad, which had no competitive components. In 1951, the Olympic medals given for the arts were stricken from the medal records and no longer count towards the overall medal count for each country. John Copley, a British artist, won a silver medal for his series of etchings titled Polo Players at the 1948 London Olympics. At 73 years of age, he was the oldest recipient of any Olympic medal. Copley developed an interest in lithography, initially working in color. Here we see an example in the museum's collection of a color lithograph created by Copley titled The Surgeon. Later in his career, he would exclusively work in black and white. The museum has several of Copley's black and white lithographic prints, including this one titled Rome, the Café Greco. Laura Knight, also of England, earned the silver medal in painting for the painting boxer at the 1928 Amsterdam Olympic Games. In 1936, Knight became the first woman elected to full membership of the Royal Academy of Arts. Her genre, style, subjects, and technique changed throughout her career. In the 1920s, Knight bought a printing press and began etching, producing 90 prints between 1923 and 1925. Knight's subjects often included circus performers, dancers, spectators, and gypsies. The museum's collection includes this print titled At the Fair, capturing spectators at a fair. Knight created this print by using the technique called aquatint, which is a form of etching that produces areas of tone rather than lines. It looks a bit like a watercolor. With the pageantry of the Olympic Games upon us, I can't help but think about the similarities between the training, dedication, and discipline required of Olympic athletes and also artists. What do you think makes an Olympian? What kind of art do you think would receive a medal today?